No, no, I've got an RCW one sure. just to right. make sure. And I have other copies here. That are here. My name is Ruth Gordon, and I reside at 5.5 Benton Street. I also serve as the Superior Court Clerk, and I'm like you, an elected official. I read the, uh, the leader article over the weekend and spent a lot of this afternoon looking up some information because a LUPA petition will come to, to my office. Um, according to information I have from the PCB, the amount of the record that will be transferred to our office will, will comprise 16% of my annual work by weight. You know, it, it will take up 16% of this year's vault space. It's not, this is not a small option that you're preserving. So I looked at it, and, and I've highlighted two sections of RCW 36.7.0.C, which I would like to recommend that you um, discuss with your legal counsel. Um, the first chapter that I've highlighted for you is 36.7.0.C.030, and that has to do with the scope of the LUPA. The, the Land Use Petition Act is, an ex, is, a, is designed to expedite judicial review of such things as like a, a permit that was denied or granted. So it's not like just a general civil case where you kind of start the ball rolling and then you go into mediation. It's an expedited judicial review process. And, and that first section that I highlighted, O30, has to do with what qualifies to be filed as a LUPA. Um, further on, and you get to standing 3670C.060. And this standing uh, chapter it talks about who's entitled to file. I, I am concerned that, that you have a, a fully considered decision about whether you're going to file this type of a, of a petition, because even if you file it and then abandon it through um, perhaps a dismissal motion that might be filed by the other side, that's going to be very expensive to the taxpayers. It's not just a $230 filing fee. It's a lot of money. And if the, you go you proceed enough to, to uh, request the record to be transmitted, that's quite a big record. It's going to cost a lot of money to have three teams of attorneys review that. All those three teams of attorneys will be paid for by your constituents because we are citizens of Port Townsend, we are citizens of the county, and we are citizen taxpayers of the port. And each entity will be lawyered up. Um, I'd also just like to point out that I believe there are two different paths to the growth. You, you could preserve your appeal right for the Growth Management Act. Thank you, Ruth. 